Previously on A Pint of Cthulhu, Fallout. Our team have made their way into the living quarters of the vault. Um, working their way around the rooms, our, uh, our resident ghoul, Billy Bob, wandered into a room, unlocked a hatch in a computer, but then had to go and help out his friends as Gertrude had opened the door to our room absolutely chock full and infested with rad roaches. At least 20 from what she could see, but there could be more in there, you never know. The team are now in the lobby of the living quarters after their initial exploration and are ready to continue. A damn skippy cap! What? You find damn skip. Damn, damn, damn skippy. Damn, damn, oh. damn skippy. You, you still want to go into that room? That we have the door here? I mean, as far as I know, you guys are saying go in there. I don't. You guys want me to go in there or not open it? You, uh, I, I don't really mind, like the, the mentality. Me it, Bob, Bob, you're the one that actually managed to get it closed so that the Rad Roaches stopped attacking, <laughs> attacking Gertrude. Uh, yeah. Well, didn't they close it and they were, weren't were they trying to convince me to reopen it? Yeah, yes, they were. Close it. Yeah, it was Cartman that closed it, yeah. I think. Because he came in afterwards and that's why he was saying, oh, what's behind the door? Well, you two are in the wrong places on this map then. Oh, yeah. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Wait, Switch places. Because <laughs> I remember like the last thing they wanted me to do is they were trying to get me to, op to, to open it. <laughs> yeah, they were like, trying to talk me one. into it. All right, so we're caught up. They're, they're trying to convince you to open the door to the Rad Roach infested. And also room. there was a thing under there that you didn't open. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, there was the door as well. Because we were... We were I wasn't the only one that was confused. I thought I was in the bunker, not that there was a door to a bunker. So that was that was so a hatch underneath a rug. But yes, uh, jerky man, you you take boom ball off of off of uh, boat lady that we may or may not have forgotten about for the past several like weeks. What? Did, what? Wait! 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 What? Could you? Could you repeat that? Big girl, I'm, I'm kind of confused to what you're talking about. Uh, boom ball, open door, pull pin, put boom ball in door, close door. Ah, I believe Gertrude's referring to the grenade. Although yeah. you did have a Molotov as well, I think. Oh yes, we uh, made that. Oh. Uh, have your pick? Yeah. Uh, well, well I, 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 mm. you know, you brought it up, big girl, I'll leave it up to you. Leave Big up boom? To me. Big boom I'll or leave. a fire oh. bottle? But yes, we, 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 we presented you with two options. Uh -oh. <laughs> you presented one, the other present... <laughs> Win again presented the other. <laughs> Uh-oh, God, you need to think now. That's not good. <laughs> uh, Starts some steam pouring out of the ears. Now, Cap, which is theoretically better, the grenade or the Molotov? Well, the grenade. He's not is... going to tell you that. <laughs> oh, he is. Well, yeah, because it's damage wise, isn't it? If I remember, I think the Molotov does uh, burning over time. But yeah, I was about to say that um, the, the grenade does like force damage. Um, the Molotov <gasps> will set things on fire, or, or can set things on fire, depending the on the The grenade rules. uses the force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, may may the grenade the be with you. you. <laughs> if we're going to do anything, we should use the Molotov. Darth Maul? Uh, no, Darth Molotov. <laughs> so, can we then theoretically get someone to open the door, really to throw the Molotov in, and then shut the door and burn the fuckers out? Yeah. I, I've i got the robot reflexes, I can open the door, you throw it, and I'll close it. How about we let Firewater live up to his name, though? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like oh, a kind of guy to enjoy you don't, eat... <laughs> you don't want to know how I got my name. <laughs> well, it's a time it, it's a time we really don't want to talk about alright I'm just going to say either way I'll do it though okay could be good <laughs> oh god uh, hmm. 
And again, something tell me, maybe not open the door. <laughs> For our viewers, Cap is... Previously we could see there was radroaches in him. Cap's put a giant black box over it so we can't see what's in there now. <laughs> well, you close the door, you can't see in there anymore. Oh dear. They've like they've like Voltron together <laughs> to build a giant <laughs> body out of radroaches. What's that thing that they call, like, when it's a bunch of rats together? Like a rat king? Rat it's king? a rat roach king? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no! Uh, really? You find... It's Mighty Morphin Rat Roach time! Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you know what? There was actually that knockoff called Beetleborgs. Do you remember that? I remember that, yeah. But we should probably get on with uh, throwing a Molotov <laughs> into the room before okay. our viewers reach for the screen and kill us. So go, on go. three, shall we? And I, um, my... My robot tentacles reach out and grab the door. I don't like that you call them tentacles, my guy. <laughs> That's what they are. Don't get squeamish now. <laughs> right, Billy Bob, um, you ready to go throw it in? And then close the door. And then close uh, the door. Down. I'm okay. down for it. So who's a... Uh... Okay, Billy Bob, you, you, you count. Count us in. All right, count, so just to confirm, what is it that you're going to do right now? Open the um, door, uh, put a multiple I'm op- close no, the door. I, I mean, more specifically, like, who's yeah. opening the door? And... So I'm opening the door um, and closing it. Um, then Bo- Bo- Billy Bob is going to throw, um, throw it. Can I theoretically close the door in this, like, because if he's opening it, Billy's throwing it, can I then run and close it if you open it out to so just kind of ram it shut? I feel like I mean, we're having try. another one of those things yeah. like earlier when we got me think, opening a door a vastly too, overcomplicated. Too much in the weeds. How about this? Let me just throw out this first. And as okay. I said, I'm going to open the door. You ready? You ready? Billy Bob, you got that uh, Molotov lit? Uh, wait. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh. I had smoked in a long time. How do you use this lighter? Uh, I'm going to uh, reach over uh, with my flamethrower here you go yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is that uh, I know this. You've, your arms are kind of you know changeable but I can say that in Fallout Universe that a Mr. Handy usually has a blowtorch well he has a flamethrower so <laughs> yeah. well actually so, put my nerd glasses on in the Fallout 4 or, tr- or whatever is uh, DLC with the robot one you can put a flamethrower on them they uh, Think that yeah. you just agreed with him? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. Like I, I, yeah, yeah. Anyway. I don't really know what you were trying to do. Okay. That one, Shall we that uh, one. get this um, Molotov thrown? Roach kebab. Uh, I don't know. Can you freaking light it? Because we just had when the whole gets, reason for this discussion. The and flicks the lighter and lights it. <laughs> there we go. Thank yeah. you, thank you. That's my qu- That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you better open shine. this door quickly if this is already lit. Um, do I roll anything, or can I just open it quickly? Yeah, you're going to need to do a roll for this. So oh, okay. it's going to be a go. regular sort of strength roll. Um, give me it against unarmed. I think would probably be the best one for this. One d twenty. And no, it's a two d twenty roll. Oh, two. Cool. Yeah, uh, you should strength. just be able to click on the skill, remember? Yeah, skill and versus, sorry. Yeah, so sense, strength yeah. against, and either unarmed athletics. You know, it's probably better athletics for this role. Okay. Yeah, so go strength against athletics, roll 2d20. Let's see if you manage to open this door. Okay, so that didn't come up on the screen. I try it all the time. Right, Carmen, did you click on the additional dice thing? Yes, it's, it, the, um, on the character sheet, the the, the four twenty dice in the corner, the box. It comes Why are you? What are Cartman, you? it's enough. Okay, yeah, yeah. so okay, so that's a as this though. Molotov is burning away, oh, crap. the robot tries to open the door, and um, its servos just kind of clink, 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 and nothing happens. Oh, guess God would need to do it then. Athletic strength, yeah. Yep, athletic strength, go for it. Switch places with the robot. Go to right. shove him out of the way and. Belly Bob's getting nervous with that. One success. He got one success. Okay, we'll give you one success. So, the door swings open and instantly um, three of the rad roach just fall out of the doorway. Burn it. Um, burn it. Um, well, burn as it. I'm right there in front, can I use my flamethrower straight away? 
I think we'd rather get the Molotov thrown in yeah. there before we do anything else. I don't want that going off in the middle of us all. No, <laughs> no, no, Winnie, well, Winnie. Given this is Winnie. a very well I'll... laid plan, and we know what you're all doing, I will give Billy over the opportunity to throw it before we roll initiative for this. All right, I like the sound of that voice in my head. I said, I really <laughs> said it out loud. <laughs> and te- 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 Texarkana, and I just throw it. Chunk it in. Now, do you want me to roll throw? Uh-oh. Yes, I'm going to want you to roll throw for this. Uh-oh. There's a, there is a throwing skill, so There's you should just be able to click on that. Scorpion looking now, figure in the back there. I sh- like. <laughs> now, I don't know. I, I feel like this is a science skill, though. I mean, you say that, Cap, but I feel like I'm really thinking. Billy, are you skill. terrible at throwing? Is this what's happening? I'm going to go well, ahead you and think I'm, you, you think I'm good with. You may be that's a crit success. The there you go. Nice. Oh, well done, mate. Well done. So, um, that is Billy one. had a target of four to meet for that roll, so it was, he only could have succeeded if he rolled a one, two, three, or a four. And yeah, he did. He managed to roll a one <laughs> critical success on that one. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Yo, damn, skip it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you'll be sorry, all right. <laughs> all right, now let me just get a wee quick reminder of the sort of radius of this this blast that's going to happen here. All right, it was like so we've got Molotov cocktails. Like, I think we end up working out it'd be at least most of it, apart from either the front two rows or the back two rows, being on where it's thrown. Yeah, blast, energy, throwing. So what you're getting there is you're getting four damage dice. And that'll be for everybody in the area. Blast, throwing, medium range, so let's have a wee look. Are you um, wanting me to roll it? I'm just going to measure this out for you, get a wee circle measure. Oh, what a gentleman. All right, so what did it say, 10 feet, 15? Medium range. I'm looking yeah. at there. 15? All apart from the two in the foot, uh, actually, all apart from this one. Yeah, okay, so we just need to, we need to find out where you hit in the room then in that case. So, I'm going to get you to roll a 1d4 for me. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. Go on a good. two. A two. Excellent. So, you hit right about here. It doesn't go far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take this, yeah, Roaches! No, I said this is good. This is good. You're blocking the doorway, so you, yeah. have, to, you have to go through the flames. So it just goes into the doorway, um, sort of throwing it to the, I guess, to your left, I suppose. This is granny and, tossing. Um, there, take it. It only goes a quarter of the way into the room. So if we measure out sort of 10 feet from there... We're going to be hitting approximately 12, 14. Okay. I yeah, like the 14. way you <laughs> So you're managing to hit 14 different rag roach with this. Brilliant roll. Um, yep, that's right. Thanks very much for the circle. That's great. So, to roll me though that um, four damage dice. Okay, um, you need me to roll four damage dice? Yep, that'd be great. You said? Okay, okay, sorry. Hold on. Uh, now, how would I hold? Oh, I have to do it right. Yeah, it's the wee uh, face symbol you use for the yeah, damage yeah, dice. Yeah, at, at, at the top, yep. I'm not used to doing it without hitting roll for damage at the bottom, so three damage! Nicely done, nicely done. Three damage plus the effect. So you're actually going to apply burning to every single one of these rad roaches. Hell yeah. That uh, awesome. baby burn, ba, ba, baby burn. So this is going to be a weird fire, sort of interestingly smelling fire going on in this... Uh, mm, roasted bugs. Yep, in this little room. Unfortunately, rad roaches have six health. Well, we're going to be so slamming you... the door closed as well, so they can just stay in there. And so you don't actually kill any of them. So, we're going to do a wee bit of an initiative roll now. Oh. Uh, what the hell did y'all get me into? 
Well, I kind of want to know. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I fit. Uh, well, I, you know, I am. I do kind of like a little bit of barbecue rad roach, but you know, one or two, not this freaking many. Well, with Gertrude's appetite, we have to do a little bit more. Don't, don't blame Gertrude on this. Ah, fair I enough. Never blame Let's Gertrude. fuck him up. Use boom ball. Yeah, <laughs> so there. Sorry, Let's I fuck him up. Just this on my carrot sheet. I totally forgot to add the um, flamethrower. Um, which I added last time. You replaced my laser pointer, if I remember, or buzzsaw. Hmm. Did that real? Ah, did we? Did we not add add that into your your no. combat abilities? No. No. Oh, that's no problem. We can do that now. Okay, so everybody's rolling initiative. We need a uh, yeah. initiative roll from you, Tukin, Billy Bob. Hey. Yes, I can do that. There we go. Fabulous. And with Billy Bob's exceptional perception skills, across from the fire, you also notice there's a, a really big scorpion in the back of the room as well. Quite a massive scorpion. But yeah, so the room is now filled with um, 14 on-fire rad roaches, about five that aren't on fire, <laughs> and a big massive rad scorpion at the back, which also, unfortunately, currently isn't on fire. Winnigan, you get the first turn of this combat round. Um, there are three rad roaches in front of you. They've just spilled out of the doorway. So I could throw the grenade, which I apparently didn't mark down on my character sheet. Yeah, you do have a grenade. I don't remember where I put it. Which everybody forgot about last time. I, <laughs> well, yeah, you were I trying to I make that <laughs> Molotov. I think I forgot to put it in my character sheet, which might be why. Tragedy. I could throw it, but I feel like it might be a waste. You might want to save it for something. Do it. Else. Oh, I think you should throw do it while it. the door's open. Go big or go hop. Go big or go hop. Go big or go hop. I'd rather, I'd rather go big later. <laughs> or is it last resort? Go, go, Just to remind you, if it's go, part of your go. plan, an action um, would be to close the door. Yeah, so that's you wouldn't be able thinking. to both close the door and throw the grenade. I. Do we really want to use a grenade on rad roaches? Yeah, this man. Yes. Because it would kill. We just wasted a goddamn fire. Molotov. So. What do you think? We're. I mean, what else? Ah, uh, fuck it. I, I'm alright at throwing, sure. Let's. Let's, uh. Throwing's agility, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. There is sure. a skill. There's a skill on your character sheet. Yeah, I know, but throwing. It's, yeah. it's against agility, yeah. Uh, sure, I'll throw a grenade. Why not? Alright. Good stuff. So. Um, you're not moving at all, are you? Uh, I don't want to move further away because then I'll have a harder time throwing it. So I'll stay right where I am. I'll tank the heads. Right, excellent. All right. Um, so just give me a throw roll. We two d twenty. Sure see what happens thing. there. That's one success. All right. Yeah, and like I say, you're not moving. Nothing. To, the only thing that's in front of you is a couple of rad roaches, so it's not. Yeah, a, should be it's not a hard enough. throw. You're just putting it into the, the room? Yeah, I'm just lobbing it as far... I think I want to try and get it, like, decently in the midst of things. I'll maybe a little far back to see if I can get some damage on the scorpion as well. Alright, excellent. Yeah, let's see if you can do that. Um, I will do a quick wee measure. This is a supply closet full of insects. Someone's ant farm that got a bit irradiated. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's really big, Cap. That's 35 foot. Yeah, want to um, tell me why? You want to tell me why? Just looking for the line, don't worry. I'm not actually looking at the circle here. Okay, <laughs> so good. Which has actually mini nukes. Yeah, you just put a circle yeah. on the map that covers half the fucking wall. Give me a strength roll as well. I want to see. A strength as well? Decide what kind of distance uh, we're going here. Strength against. Yeah, strength against agility as well. Agility, okay. Uh, oh, no, no sorry. No, no, athletics, yeah, sorry. It's mixing up the word for agility and politics. I'm not great at that. Oh, one success. One success. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to let you throw that the full distance into the back there, into the back of the room. Yes. That way we can, uh, that way you can get that red scorpion if you want. So from here, um, we're going to affect all of these creatures. Um, I have put a wee circle on the map for all of you. It's going to affect everything within three squares of it. So, nice. we're going to be attacking pretty much everyone. There's only two rad roach in that room that you're going to miss. Uh, given that a lot of them are already in fire, this is going to be quite a good little damage roll. So, give me... Uh, 
six damage dice, please. Ooh, Pow. Uh, oh, oh shit, bad, yeah. dude! Five damage? Ah, uh, five damage. Plus an effect, which is... Oh, it's just a blast. Which is... No, there is, there is no there is no other damage effects. That's fine. So it is just the five damage you're doing. Brilliant. So, um, if you have a look at all the rad roaches that are in that... Circle, see a lot of all of the ones that are in fire are now going to be all... They're, yeah, they're all just dusting. You're getting uh, a lot of rad roach and red mist in this room. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. Die instantly. <laughs> Well done. So I'll take them off the map just so the, for ease. A um, couple of the rad roaches are surviving at the back there. So there's this one with only one health left. This one and the rad ro and then the scorpion itself. The scorpion doesn't seem phased at all. Uh oh. Time to uh... do some sketchy shit. Do da <laughs> do da. Hope I get away with it. Do 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 da day. That is the rad roaches turn. Uh, sorry, not the Rad Roach's turn, it's the Rad Scorpion's turn. Well, he's got a long distance to go, he's all the way back there. <laughs> yes, but I'm going to let him do it. Oh, <laughs> because he's a skittery wee bastard. He's going <laughs> to very, very quickly, shocked that he's just been hit with a grenade and that all these Rad Roach pals are on fire, he's going to fire himself up to the doorway and attack the first person he sees. Sorry, Gertrude. Fuck you. You opened the door. <laughs> We have here a claw attack and a sting attack. I think he's going to go for you with the claws first of all. Try and grab hold of you. Mm. That just rolled a damage roll. Hold on, why didn't it roll up? Quick roll. Quick roll, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, hold on a second. Let me... Oh, Jay did that. Uh, that's because um, it was six combat dice, wasn't, but it wasn't any of my actual weapons. So yeah, um, the rad scorpion skitters its way up to Gertrude in the doorway and tries to grab hold of her with its claws. Let me see if I can get this working this day. So, claw attack. There we go. It succeeds. It's uh, got a target of 12 to beat. It rolls a 19 and a 4. That's one success. You're right in front of it. It does its claw attack and it grabs you for 3 physical damage with a vicious effect. The vicious effect gives it a, and I always need to remind myself of what actually happens with these effects, so the hell does vicious mean again? Uh oh, we're actually not doing too good <laughs> on health. Um, Gertrude cannot die, Gertrude must reign immortal. <laughs> yes, Gertrude is the immortal one. <laughs> Gertrude rises immortal. <laughs> Gertrude is the second coming. Gertrude Plus one damage for each effect rolled. Um, unfortunately, that was Fuck. three effect dice it rolled. So it's actually going to do six damage to you. Gertrude, Gertrude dead. only have two health left. Gertrude only has two health left? How yeah, did you let it get this far when you had a doctor with you at the start of the game? Bollocks. <laughs> Gertrude is stoic, hard to read. Gertrude's, Gertrude's like now... actively bleeding and she's like, yes, open the door throw, and let the rat roaches out. That sounds like great idea. Gertrude not a thinker, Gertrude a doer. The rat, the rat scorpion has successfully grabbed Gertrude, one by the leg and one by the torso. It has her down on the ground and is holding on to her and will not let go. Good. Next like person. BDSM. <laughs> Next person to the turn order is... Cartman, Nurse Handy. Cool, cool. So, um, I would like to use my flamethrower, but I don't have the button for it yet. That's fine, we can we can sort that out for you right now. <laughs> now it's do some flamethrower don't damage. Don't oh, no. look at the truth. <laughs> ah, it's fine. I've got three red roaches right in front of me, I've got this new flamethrower. Untested TM. <laughs> yeah, I mean, could probably help Gertrude with her death throws, but yeah, I'd use the flamethrower instead. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna use the flamethrower to help Gertrude in her death throws. That's it. It cauterizes the wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude does not consent to this. <laughs> no, the tentacles not consentacles, so I think you're screwed either way. Uh, anyways, uh -oh. I'm just gonna close down my handy sheet quickly. Let that be edited up. 
and right, so the, the flamethrower uh, does three damage dice worth of damage and has the potential ability of setting them on fire. Cool. So, Sorry, my um, character sheet's taking a second of real to load in. First of all, we want to roll the weapon. The flamer is a big gun. No, it wouldn't be a big gun. It's on you. It's on you as your your one of your robot components. You're gonna roll a big guns. Roll for me here. I'm just gonna do a quick check and make sure it's not different for you as a robot. While you're doing your trying to get back in there. Just just give me a sec. Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna figure it out. If you're having trouble with that, you can just tell me what to do. I can do it for you. Yeah, I wanted to use my flamethrower against the three red roaches. Right, okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, well, uh, the roll worked, unfortunately. You failed entirely in the roll. Target's five, you rolled a 12 and an 18. Zero successes. Wanna spend luck? Uh, I can try. You have five out of seven luck points left. Um, sorry, I'm just jumping the game now, just come back. Um, uh. You want to spend a lot of points, see if you can roll and get a five or under? Number five? Yeah, go on, I roll. I'll do two luck points. I oh, two. High roller. Yeah, I may as well just roll that again, actually. Um, let's go. Roll. And you failed again. So, oh. um, you've tried to... You, you're trying to fire up this new appendage that you have and you, I don't know what happens, it splutters, it just sort of flops around, um, <laughs> just one flaccid limb that just won't work for you. <laughs> you try a couple of times to get this flamethrower going, to get these rad roaches done, but nothing happens. And it moves on to the next person. Well, shit. <laughs> um, okay, I think this is when we get the rad roaches to make their turn. So, three rad roaches have already burst out of the room, and they are currently going for Winnegan and Billy Bob. Two of them on Winnegan, one on Billy Bob. They are biting away with their little rad roach bites. I sense I've made some enemies. Perhaps. Three little bites. And three oh. little large roaches. Alright, so the one that bit Billy Bob um, just sort of floated up to him with his wee wings, tried to bite him, and missed entirely. The second one did the same to Winnegan. Got his wee wings out, flew up to her, tried to get his teeth into her, and Winnegan definitely steps out of the way of it. Unfortunately, she steps into the way of the third one, which successfully clamps his little teeth into her, and it hits her in the left arm. It clamps her little, its little teeth into her left arm and does two points of physical damage. I believe you've got some physical resistance, actually, there, don't you? Only energy. Yeah, you, so you take two points of damage. Uh -oh. Suddenly... Out from behind the scorpion float out two on fire rad roaches. They both take damage dice for their fire damage. So one of them takes one damage from its burning, and the other one takes no damage at all. <laughs> yeah, two damage dice rolled and no damage. So they're both just still on fire and wandering about. Um, uh, again, I've, I've got some bad news, guys. Uh... I think the roaches have become immune to fire. This is rather alarming. <laughs> they, take, they take up positions with the rest of the rad roaches and one attacks Billy Bob, one attacks Winnegan as before. Luckily, they don't get a, a fire damage bonus for being on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Ooh, crit fire. Yeah, but apparently the fire seems to be really distracting them. The one that went to attack Winnegan fails completely. It doesn't even get close, it just sort of flops next to her leg. And the one that attacked um, Billy Bob just floats right past him, misses entirely, and 
kind of almost knocks his hat a little bit, but just a breeze of wind past it. <laughs> a, you know, a very hot breeze of wind past it. <laughs> sort of gives you a close shave. But yeah, those rad roaches that managed to do absolutely nothing. There are four rad roaches still in the room. They all make their way up to the scorpion. However, they don't have the movement speed to get themselves out of the room and attack you. So they are just taking position behind the rad scorpion, which is in the doorway, holding on to Gertrude. <laughs> I currently dead mm. Gertrude. Not dead. dead. No, no, you, I mean, you're 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 in your death throes part of the <laughs> part of the game. I just did a scratch. Do you not still have two health left? I do. Oh. Oh, sorry. I thought you said you only had two health. No, I two have health. two health left. Was that after you took the sex? Okay, okay. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, still, how did you manage to get it this way when you had a doctor with you? But, yep. <laughs> At least you've got that two health. Speaking of which, it's actually your turn. Uh, you, Billy Bob, and the dog all have the same initiative, so um, take it away however you want to. I'll let you go first, Duke. Uh, sounds good to me. Uh, I am going to panic, and I'm going to run away. Uh, so I'm going to take my character, I'm going to run back over here, and then I'm going to spin around and start shooting this one with my 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, but that one that you just um, pointed to there, you ran right past it, giving it the chance to opportunity oh. to bite you. Luckily, again, must be distracted because it's on fire. It just sort of flops around at your feet and tries to scratch at you as you run past. It does nothing. So you want to turn around and fire wildly into the crowd. Uh, I, <laughs> Jesus. Well, I, no, I said specifically that one. <laughs> you bring yeah. that gun in a backpack? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go for it. What's, uh, what, gun, what gun are you using? Uh, my 10mm pistol. Probably make the roll. That is a crit fail. Well, I crit fail. I've got a failure. Two failures. That's just a regular fail, don't worry. <laughs> Make it sound I misspoke! It <laughs> but, but yes, you turn around, trying to look cool, fire off your pistol, and hit nothing. Uh, was that... That was too showboaty, wasn't it? Yeah, that, 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 that's my bad. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm better All right. than this. It's the dog and Gertrude. What have they got? Um, am I pinned or am I not pinned? No, you're not pinned, but it's definitely still got a hold of you. So could I pain train it off of me? I'm going to say no to this because it's you're right on each other. Fair enough. In which case, uh, I'm going to get the trusty dusty frying pan out. Bad red roach, no touchy. Oh, and... a good smack. Fuck. Oh man. I'm going to spend two luck on that. Okay, yeah, I'll let you spend the luck. So that was a target because, of 15. He rolled a yeah. 19 and a 16. So failed a now, point blank did, fire frying pan shot. Did I throw a Molotov in there that was like laced with acid or something? Because like, are we high <laughs> as a kite right now? Is that what's there going go. on? <laughs> it's all like, the fumes. I mean, like, it, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, we've all just had horrible rolls. Even the rad roaches. Are we just sitting there like foaming at the mouth? <laughs> Fire's hey, making people cool, panic. Cool. Eight physical damage with a frying pan, motherfucker. That is a really good shot. So yeah, that was um, to the was... dragon in the corner. <laughs> Look, it did nothing. Your luck roll, you got your two successes, no problem, and your damage roll, you're doing eight physical damage. And do you have any? Do your frying pan have anything? I don't yeah. think it does, unless you want to give it something special. I kind of do want to give it something special just because of that, but no, no, I, 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 yeah, we can't, we can't do that. I can't be too nice to you. So yeah, we'll just keep it at the eight physical damage. You hit this rad roach right in the snoot and it actually lets go of you because of the, uh, the force of this attack. Would I be able to scoot backwards a bit? Um, yeah, you know what? You still got a movement. Um, so yeah. Without taking damage? Without taking damage, I wouldn't make them attack you. Just go back. Do I just go balls to the wall and pain train it now? What do people think? I mean, if you run in there, it'd be still on fire and everything, wouldn't it? If you run, if you run up like 
this way, I could heal you next turn. It would suffer damage equal to my unarmed, which if I remember correctly was... We do this every time, Cap, but uh, what was it? Four damage? Four? Three? Okay, you should up. Four damage will... Like, any damage will kill the radar which is marked with red. Oh, I don't I think it'll that. kill the scorpion at all. Yeah, your unarmed is three damage. Three damage. Ah, uh, fuck it. I will run... Actually, I kind of want to say... Because you can use AP to boost your turn up. I kind of want to just see if I can hit it again next turn and just spend the AP if we're all right with that. Uh, or is sure. that too ballsy? What do people think? How much AP would you be spending? Just one? One gets you an okay. extra dice. Uh, how, how much, much AP what, do we have? How much AP Three. is it to boost yourself up to the first turn, brother roll? Alright, so you want to just um, change your, your turn order in the next turn. Yeah, how much is it for that? Yeah, no problem. Um, I'll just get the price sheet up here. Just don't forget, we have a Nuka Cola or two, so we can just get the AP back. In fact, if anything, I only need one, what, one success for the frying oh, pan? Oh, it's not I? AP, it's luck. Oh, never mind then. Okay, uh, I guess I have to run backwards because I am on two health, so yeah, I will run. Yeah, back, back to there if that's right. Yeah, it's, it's lucky timing, so you can spend luck to get yourself. Um, Fired up the the, the list. I for have the queue. Three. Yeah, no, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> All right, end of that turn. So, Red dog. Oh yeah, the dog's still to go. And normally that normally happens straight after Billy Bob. <laughs> so yeah. Billy Bob, what's the dog doing? Uh, Snufflepuff do? is gonna bite the exact. Uh, Rad Road that I was attacking. Uh, that is a, a failure. Like an absolute fail. Um, yeah. Yeah, so the, the dog runs up to the on fire Rad Roach and tries to bite it, but not quite sure what to do. The dog just backs off again, considering it's, 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 it's it smells weird. It's not a puff. What the? Ah, all right. All right. Daddy missed too. I get it. I get it. I get it. Don't do it next right. time. So going pretty well so far. You've got five, you've got nine rad roach left, most of which have already took damage, and you've got a scorpion in the doorway that's uh, going to be a bit of a bother. The next person in the queue, we're back to Winnegan here. So Winnegan, you're surrounded by roaches too, which are in fire. What are you going to do? If I kill this one, can I then skedaddle away without taking opportunity attack? Um, I would say you definitely would get an opportunity to attack from one of them. Ah. Oh boy. Um, how much does he uh, blood pack heal again? I think blood packs only heal one. Let me just check here. Consumables. Or a stim pack? Yep. Yeah, I mean, stim packs are the ones that do the most healing. So, let's see. Blood pack. HP. Oh, actually, it's three. A blood pack will heal three HP. A stim pack will heal how much? That depends on your successes and your um, and your medicine skill. So, what is your medicine skill? Um, medicine is uh, zero, but the intelligence it runs by is eight. So, eight. Right. In combat, actually, there's not much difference. You'll get four back. Ah, uh, I'll just use a blood pack then. Alright, brilliant. So, um, how do you want to go about trying to kill the Rad Roach that's next to you? Uh, no, because I can only either kill or use a blood pack, right? They're both actions, yeah? So if it's one or the other, I'm choosing the blood pack, because I am on 3 HP. <laughs> I would like to be on more. Taking a chem is a minor action. Oh, it's, so I can do both? I mean, if you're taking it yourself, then... Yeah. Yeah, so if you were trying to heal somebody else, that would be a major action. Okay. But if you're just taking so, it yourself, then go for it. Cool. Uh, so I'll take the um, blood pack and heal free HP. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. So you just you just I don't know you drink blood in the middle of a battlefield. And <laughs> <laughs> it's like a a bloodborne. I just like yeah. sip up. I hate just start. You just sort of burst it in your hand, and yeah. the health the health energizes you. And uh, I think I'm gonna 
see if I can't laser... No, a laser musket would probably be overkill. I'm gonna use uh, my 10 millimeter pistol on this boy. And why people are concerned about overkill in this game, but that's fine. Yep, go for it. Roll the pistol. It's more I want to save my good ammo. <laughs> One success. Excellent. That's great. So yeah, that was a target of six and you did manage to roll a six. So yeah, shoot that rad roach. Two damage. Two physical damage. So no effects on either. Yeah, so you don't quite... Oh wait, actually. Yes, you it's do. On fire. Fantastic. Yeah, you managed to kill it. So that's another rad roach down. Nice. And where do you want to run to? Uh, I'm not running because I'll take an opportunity from, from Boy Below. Brilliant. And you can't run because you took that blood pack. So yeah. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Um, Winnegan is done with hers. So who was next? It was the nurse, wasn't it? Yes, it is. It's, um, it's Carmen. Yeah, I want to go again with the flamethrower. I want to try it again. See if I want to get it working. I'm going to give it a good slap and I'm going to... Alright, he's going to give his flaccid appendage a good slap, <laughs> and he's going to try and get his flamethrower working again. Can he... Roll it for me. Can I he... I still don't have the... Right, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can! Would you look at that? You have a target of five. You managed to roll two fives, two successes. Yeah. Double Fantastic. the five. <laughs> yeah, so, he's slapped his flaccid appendage, and it is turgid and ready to go. He fires up the little the little flame on the end of the flamethrower. All the fuel is lit, ready to go. Where are you blasting this flamethrower? Um, that's a very good question. <laughs> to the nearest <laughs> okay, so... rad roach to me. <laughs> you better watch so you just want to blast it right in front of you. Uh, not quite. Um, there are two red roaches to my, um, I guess it would be... Right, wouldn't it? Can't I fire at them? Yes, you can. Brilliant. Um, you know what we're going to do as well? Let me see. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's grand. So, yeah, because they are right next to each other, I'm just going to say that you're going to hit both of them if you do this. So, um, we're going to roll some damage, and it was three damage dice with the chance of getting them set on fire. Let me roll that for you again, unless you're in your character sheet again. Um, I've, I've gone out of it. Yeah, sorry. All right. Two damage, so you don't manage to set them in fire. However, the flames do singe them and do two damage to both rad roaches. Well, uh, well that kind of worked. Yeah, so um, that's... Have you, is there anything else you want to do in this turn? You've still got a minor action. Um, I'm just going to leave it as that. It is now the scorpion's turn. The scorpion, um, as you can imagine, not very happy about getting um, a frying pan to the face. But it's not a smart animal. So, in its rage, uh, it just attacks the nearest person to it, which happens to be a floaty robot. Unfortunate for Nurse Handy. Damn. <laughs> the scorpion goes in with the claws again, trying to grab its prey before sticking the stinger into it. So hopefully you'll be able to escape its claws before its next turn. Would Venom even do anything to a robot? No. No, but the stinger's still... Uh, uh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not really, because I've got this um, <laughs> quite powerful armour I'm wearing on my full side. <laughs> so we'll uh, see. It depends, it depends you think on I can stop a rad scorpion? Mm, it's quite chunky. It depends on the damage. As I said, I think I, think I get plus one to physical. Because the Rad Scorpion successfully gets a hold of you. So it's holding you by a couple of your tentacles. Um, it rolls five physical damage. Plus Vicious has got three of them. So, oh, that is eight physical damage. Oh, wait, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not good. We're going to do the hit locations of your torso for this. So what's the um, damage resistance you've got on the torso? I think it's... Um, I need to double check. Um, was I want to say four? Uh, yes, physical dr four. It is yeah. So luckily you managed to mitigate four of that uh, damage. So you take four physical damage to the torso, and this thing's got a really hard grip on you. In fact, it's it's actually you can see where the metal's starting to buckle. It's making claw marks in you. 
despite your metal shell. Shit. <laughs> Everybody else can hear a creaking and the sounds of the sounds of a robot in pain. They really are going to start taking out my paycheck if we go through two robots in as many months. Help me! Help me! <laughs> we really should see if I can hear conversation, Gertrude. You certainly earn it. Uh, oh. wait, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What, what do you mean you're getting you're getting paid? I I made all my money from freaking gambling. What the hell have you been doing? Well. Permanent vault citizens get a few perks. Hold up, hold up. Can, can pa everybody, pa everybody did get paid on the I know, I mission. know. Yes. Yeah, it was part of a whole meeting. Yeah, everybody got money. I know, it sounds pretty fishy to me. I feel like I wasn't paid <laughs> enough. Just as long as you know that you were actually paid by we should the overseer. We should unite. <laughs> All oh, right, so the rad roaches get their turn now. Now there's one that's still on fire, so we're going to quickly roll a wee damage dice to see if it survives the, the burning. Um, it does. Yep, it does. So it takes um, one point of damage. It's on two health left, and all the rad roach are now outside the doorway and ready for attacking everybody. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, we have eight. Eight Rad Roach all outside and going on the attack. Um, one of them floats up to Gertrude. Uh oh. One of them floats to the robot. One of them's already beside the robot. Oh, what? And the other five surround Wedigan and the doggo. So now I have to roll eight different bite attacks. <laughs> so bear with me here. <laughs> oh, Gertrude! You know what? I'll I'll make you as the first one, just to see if it's uh, just if it, just to see if it works. That's either a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> right, Rad Roach bite attack. Oh, uh. Gertrude's. Rad Roach, unfortunately, has failed at his bite attack. Hey, it's unfortunately, a... fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> sort of floats up to Gertrude and tickles her a wee bit. <laughs> right, we're going to have two of them attacking the robot. Again, both of them fail their rolls. I don't know why the target for this Rad Roach is six for his bite attack. It's the only attack it's got, but hey, um, that's game rules for you. <laughs> So, both the Rad Roach that are attacking the robot fail. Two of them are attacking Winnegan. They fire in their little bites and one of them succeeds this time. So, Winnegan takes a bite or zero physical damage. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> we stay, Winnegan. <laughs> so, imagine you stay. I think it bites the leather of one of your boots and um, doesn't do any damage to you. Do I still have a rad roach hanging off my arm? <laughs> yeah, I think. No, you killed that one. Oh, <laughs> nice. The other three of them all attack the doggo. The doggo, not the doggo. <laughs> the doggo, yeah, two of them hit. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have dog death. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> How much health does a chihuahua have? <laughs> Quick question. Oh, no. <laughs> so, the chihuahua takes. Three, what you no, don't two, know. Two physical damage for one of them. It surprisingly has 85 health points, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get the uh, the sheet up for the dog just so that we know what's going on here. Somebody's <laughs> told me it's like 5 health, so it should be fine. <laughs> well, let me pull it up. I feel like I'm going to be sad real soon. Oh, a dog's eaten by roaches. It, in fact, it has six. Right. Snufflepuff currently has seven... Eight, oh, sorry, six HP. Do, so don't do, worry, do, it's not going to die. Do, However, do, do. <laughs> calm, down, it's, calm down, she's not dying. She's just taking <laughs> a couple of bites. One of them bites for two physical damage, so that takes it down to four health. The other one bites for one damage, which takes her down to three health. 
and unfortunately that one bites with a radioactive um, passive. That takes your max HP down as well, so your max HP has been taken down to 6 for the doggo. But isn't the doggo technically ghouly as well, so would it not be effective by radiation? No, the doggo is just, just scruffy Maybe. looking, yeah, it's just dingy looking, dog. it's not actually a ghoul. I tried, Tugan, I tried. <laughs> I got a question, uh, so how much health on in total is that? So you should be at 6 max HP with yep. 3 current HP. Okay, alright, got it. So yeah, a couple of rad roaches biting in at your doggo, it's yelping. Whimpering. You got it, boss! Don't worry! It's all, it's all very sad. And next, it's Billy Bob, Gertrude, and the dog's turn. So, whatever order you want to take that in, go for it. Big girl, Up to you. I'm gonna leave it to yep. you. But I'm gonna want oh. you to avenge. Avenge Snufflepuff. She's not dead, but she sure still ain't looking good. <laughs> you might help me out with this? Uh... Got to try. Uh, but, That's well, not what I, I want to hear. I want to hear I'm um, will. I will. You got uh, it. Go for it. I'm going to pain train the one in front of me. So, literally just looked at it and I forgot what it was. Strength athletics. There it is. The robotics. Oh. All right, uh -oh. so this is one of these Damn. occasions where you manage to both succeed and crit fail at the same time. Um, so I think that's the yeah, first you know what? Seen that. Yeah, so I quite like to get some sort of creative damage done to you. What's going to happen is you're going to pain, pain train the rad roach. You're going to step right on it as you go past it, squishing it into the ground and killing it. However, you're going to slide on its entrails and hit your head on the ground as you go down. I want you to... How much damage, Cap? Because you could kill me here. We're not going to take damage off you. You're just going to be dazed until the next turn. You don't get a major action in this turn. Uh, who's... After this, isn't it just Roach initiative? Or is it... Who's initiative? No, Belly it? Bob and the dog still Billy. have a turn. Uh... And um, you're also next in the queue, um, oh, so good, after them. Good. Okay. All right. Well, Nick, did you want me? You did your thing, so I will go ahead and do mine. Uh, we, you know what? I'm in a good spot. I'm giving up. I just watched the snuffle puff just got failed. I'm railway rifle this thing. If I do a railway rifle with the way the rad roaches do, if I succeed on attacking this one, the one that I attacked before, can the bullet go through and hit the one behind it? If I succeed! You know what? If you move so that they are directly in line with each other. Like this? Yep. If you get okay. two successes in the roll, I'll let you hit both of them. Uh, <gasps> one success, one of them. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. You got it, boss! So roll the railway rifle for me and see if you can fire through two rad roaches. That is two successes. You did, you did get two successes, oh my god. <laughs> so uh, a target has seven, he rolls a two, which given that the um, small guns is one of his tagged skills, that counts as a critical, giving you two successes. So yeah, you know what, I'm going to let you do the same damage to both of them. So yeah, I mean, that's a railway rifle, so you should just kill both of them. But I don't see that. kebab. That is six damage with one piercing, so seven damage. Oh my god, that's six piercing with one damage. That's not just seven damage. That's four effect dices. So that's four stacking effects of piercing. <laughs> yeah. Oh Jesus. Yeah. So you um yeah you they, they obliterate two rad roaches at once. So that was a yeah. I wasn't expecting that roll, but that f fucking brilliant, mate. Go for it. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> hey, yeah. You see that, Winnie? You see it? Oh, I saw it. Ah, right, good, good, good. Hey, tell me what the dog was doing. Uh, the dog is just gonna bite. 
<laughs> just kidding. <laughs> With what teeth? <laughs> it's it's man. Like, you see if it manages this thing. It's pretty pissed, I'd say, at this point. Yeah, it did just get a bit a minute ago, so it is pretty yeah, bonus pissed. for being angry. Yeah. That is a failure and failure. It is absolutely too crazy at the moment. <laughs> it has no clue what's going on. How much luck points do you have left? Uh, wait, uh, hold on. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on. You know, I, I'm getting scared. When the DM asks me to use luck points... I just wondering, you know what, that was a it's, target of 8 for Snufflepuff's Bite. You got an you 11 know, and an 18, so you failed both of them. I'm going to roll one. I'm going to re-roll one. I'm gonna re you want to spend one luck point to re-roll one? All you have to do yes. is get an 8 or under. I can do it. I can do it. I'll do it. Just um, 1d20, go for it. <gasps> and you uh, an 8, exactly. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's right, motherfuckers! Wow! Aren't you glad I suggested it now? <laughs> Roll the damage for me. You dab straight. Okay. That'd be four physical damage. Yeah, the Snufflepuff just grabs this rad roach by the face and just does that thing, you know, where dogs do. They just shake and shake and shake. Just rips this wee tiny face off. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh, I'm disgusted and proud at the same time. And that's another rad roach off the board. Winnigan, back to you. There are four roaches left along with this um, slightly damaged rad scorpion. Is there a chance I could walk, like, essentially over or, like, around this rad roach to get to Gertrude? Yes. Okay, neat. I'm going to do that and then use a blood pack on Gertrude. Alright, so you sort of sidestep a flailing rad roach and trying to heal up Gertrude. So, you said you're using a stim pack? Uh, is blood pack guaranteed healing? Um, blood pack is something that you'd have to give her and for her to take. It's like a, it's, it's not something you can you can apply to her. Um, a stim pack is something that you can apply to her. Does Gertrude move before the Radroaches do? No. No. Uh, okay, then I'll apply a stim pack. Alright, so Yay. this is going to take a medical roll. You'll be alright, Gertrude. Let me get you patched up. I've got one success. Alright, one success. Um, yeah, so you've just four. Four hit points back to Gertrude. Oh, that's a bit better. Let's get you back in fighting shape. Not on fighting shape, but a little bit better. Right, excellent. Nice turn. So, um, Winnegan has gone. That means it is, I believe it's the scorpion before it's nurse hand. Eh? Let me just check that again. From the, uh oh. Because oh. this is going to be interesting. I've been wanting to do this since I got this red scorpion on the board. I want to get it to use the stinger. Bye bye, Alexa. <laughs> Let's see. Check where's my turn under, went. Oh, damn it. Yes, it is the scorpion first. Yes. <laughs> uh, fun times. So, the rad scorpion with its... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Yes, so the rad scorpion with its claws currently still grabbing and pressing as tight as it can into this poor robot's body. A stinger flares up from the back and it fires it into the robot, which is going to be a successful hit. So this stinger just oh, comes up from behind this I didn't know I a turn before the second attack. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And it fires in for... Oh, actually, it's only two damage, two poison damage, uh, which you're immune to, and you also you also have the damage resistance for. Damn it! <laughs> that was such a anti climax. So this dagger comes down, and it just sort of bounces and slides off your metal body. 
No damage taken. Yeah. Speaking of which, it's your turn. Yeah, so I need to deal with this, um, this, this rad rush that keeps trying to, to kill me. Um, um, can I try to push him away? or get, I would like to burn him, but I'm going to assume you're going to say he's got my, my tentacles, so no. No, he's actually holding you by the torso, so you can do what you want with him. Oh, flame throw it to the face? Flame throw it to the face is a good shout. Um, roll the... Face. Roll the, the big guns. Ah, oh, big guns. That I can do. Uh, one dice, two dice? Yeah, the regular two dice, yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, okay, that is a, I don't know how you managed to roll yeah, additional dice, but you, that. Sorry. You, you failed on every <laughs> dice you rolled, <laughs> yeah. so we're just going to take that as a fail. <laughs> yeah. Your, your flamethrower is back to being shit again, and yeah, nothing happens. It just sort of sputters in the <laughs> face of this, in the face of this scorpion. Um, okay, can I um, try to move like away, like push him away? And, like, okay, can that count as a movement roll? You know what? I'm gonna allow this. Yeah, you, if you want to try and get away from it, you're gonna to have to do a successful strength against survival. Ah, I can do that. Strength, survival. Um, two dice? Yeah. For God's sake. And you failed that roll as failed well, so that's a target of five. You <laughs> rolled a well, seven or eleven. So, guys, it's yeah. been a good run. Not only could <laughs> it's you, been an honour serving with you. <laughs> not only could you not get your flamethrower to work again, you also couldn't get away from it. It's uh, clamped on you too tight. <laughs> And it's the Rad Roach's turn again. Now, there's only four Rad Roach left, which is great. Um, I finally passed the first one to Cartman in the yeah. character deaths. Less, <laughs> less bite rolls for me to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was kind of expecting you to take out more of them with that explosion, but that's fine. <laughs> there is four of them. They all go in with their little bitey attacks. One of them misses entirely. One of them hits. Yeah, we bitey bastard. Two of them hit. Two of them miss. All right. So Winnegan and the dog both take one attack each. Start with the dog. The dog takes one physical damage. And Winnegan takes oh one physical damage plus a radioactive damage. So that's one off your current HP and one off your max HP. Um, I'm sorry to be the breaker of bad news, Cap, but uh, dogs are immortal in this world, so they cannot be killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It's not still yeah. alive. She is still alive, so don't worry too much. For now. <laughs> yeah, health is low. Health's very low, but she's still alive. And the Rad Roaches are done with their attack. It's back to everybody else. Um, Billy Bob, Dog, and Gertrude, what do you do? Uh, I'm, I would ask this big girl that uh, Schnufflepuff get revenge. Uh, if you uh, would allow her to go first. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Absolutely. And to bite another rad roach in the face. Uh, damn straight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That is two successes. Yes, a very successful bite this time. Schnufflepuff is getting into the action here. Roll the damage. That is two. All right, so you've rolled two effect. With the vicious attack, yeah, so that's uh, three damage in total. And yeah, so that dog just rips off the face of another rad roach in the most brutal way that you can imagine. That's my dead. girl. Yes, yes, do it, do it, yes. <laughs> Gertrude, you drag yourself up after your embarrassing slide. Carmen, how bad are you right now? Not too Carpet bad. bad or normal more, yeah, like about half yeah, health. Yeah. yeah, I've got more than half. Eight out of yeah. twelve. Can I pain train around to get the red roach, uh, red scorpion? No, I'm going to not allow that just because it's currently holding on to the robot and the robot's in between both you and the, the scorpion. Fair enough. Could I move to the side of the robot and then whack it the frying pan? That is acceptable, yeah. So, movement. Um, so, that's your minor action to the side of the robot and melee range of the scorpion, and you want to smack it. Wacky wacky. 
Yeah, a couple of successes, successes there. Target 15, you rolled a 9 and a 14. Two successes, rolled the damage for me. God would like this, Colander. Alright, oh, oh. 7 damage. Brilliant, excellent. That um, takes the Rad Scorpion down to 1 HP, but it's still holding tight onto this robot. Bad puppy. And Billy Bob, what do you do? Uh, can I railway rifle through the Rad Roach to the Scorpion? Um, yeah, I'm going to give you this, the exact same uh, as last time. I'm going to make it one success for the Rad Roach, two successes for the Rad Roach and the Scorpion. Okay. okay. Well, I'm, I'm asking because uh, I know he is latched onto the robot, so... Don't worry, you'll only risk damaging the robot if you crit fail. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's... <laughs> I like those odds! <laughs> Fuck that robot! <laughs> Uh, that is two fails. Uh, that is a zero success. <laughs> That's zero successes, but just regular fails. So I'm just going to say that you fire over the rad roach, and um, yeah, you just fire a little bit too high to hit either of them. It just goes over and smacks off against the wall. Now I'm gonna. I, I'm just gonna say the whole reason I missed is I was I was definitely afraid of hitting the nurse hand. I mean, I I, I, I <laughs> aim just a little high. There's that's that's that. There's no other reason I missed. Yeah, just say. When again, what do you do? Well, I might as well try and help the dog out. You so need to go and, and heal the dog. Shoot. I'm going to help. Uh, no, I'm not going to heal the dog. I'm just going to take out the rad roach nearest it. All right, no problem. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't have many stim packs left. I'm not putting one on a dog. What gun are you using? Uh, laser musket. Excellent. Laser musket. Go for it. Fire. Yeah, um, target a 10, that's a 6 and a 3, two successes, roll the damage for me. Yeah, and Four you kill plus it. piercing? Yep. In fact, it just sort of poofs into a cloud of smoke, and the rad roach is gone. Right. Success. The roach should be safe for now. Can I move as well? You can, yes. I just want to scoot around this side, so I'm nearer to Carmen. Right. Speaking of which, it's the scorpion's turn. And it's going to do the same as it did last time. Oh man. It's going to fire a stinger, try and get this robot again. Which it succeeds in, it succeeds in its roll. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh two damage plus poison damage. So it again does absolutely not. It just sort of flaps its stinger against the robot's metal body. It doesn't seem to understand that its claws would, probably would be a better idea. But. Um, unfortunately, the scorpion can't go back retroactively and choose the claw instead. So, <laughs> so yeah, the scorpion fails to do any damage this turn. The nurse is next. Yeah, and I still want to, well, blast this bloody um, scorpion with my flamethrower. So I'm going to go for yeah, the guns again. Have a chance. I will get there eventually. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a chance? Or... Yeah, I kind of wish I used the claws there. What, use a, use a buzzsaw? Yeah, entirely up to you, Cartman. You can use your saw, you can use your flamer, whatever you want. Like I said, it's not holding on to you in your tentacles. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you know what, I will try to buzzsaw this time. I will, I'll mix it up. <laughs> um. Oh, I did it wrong. What did you just roll? You just rolled four dice? Yeah. I know. You know what? I'm going to take that roll because it's a success. Plus, it has a critical fail in there. He's rolled a 20. So, I get to do something fun with him. First of all, roll your damage. So, uh, there are no additional dice. Just very quickly, we get it right this time. <laughs> no additional dice. Two damage. You do two physical damage. You stick your buzzsaw into the scorpion's face, killing it finally oh. and making it flop to the floor. And what we're we doing with your um, uh, and you know what, for your critical failure, what I'm going to do is it lets go of you with its claw, and it scratches down the side of you, down the side of your flamer arm, bursting the fuel pump of your flamer arm, rendering it entirely useless. <laughs> oh, frick. <laughs> 
as it uh, as it dies, it manages what to do more damage thing. to you than it ever did. <laughs> God damn it! Now I gotta fix this thing again. Piece of crap. <laughs> this is what I get for scavenging rare, for rare and unusual parts. There's two rad roach left, and as they're just stupid little animals, they just they don't even notice that everybody else is dead, so they're just going to keep on biting in at whoever they can bite at, which apparently, at this point in time, looks to be Winnegan. Have at the foul bug. Yep, uh, and they are having at you, um, not particularly successfully. One of them sort of just floats past you, and um, the other one bites you for... Or one damage plus another radioactive damage, so you've now got minus two to your max HP. Are you kidding me? Really? Also, I think my max HP resets when I close my character sheet, so. I just keep that as a note then. Minus two yeah, to Yeah, I'm your... keeping it as a yeah. little note. And it's Billy Bob the dog and Gertrude. Can you finally kill these last two rad roaches? Let the dog go for it. Let the dogs out. Uh, the dog is gonna whoop ass, let me tell you. Uh, Snuffleup is going to run and fight the nearest one. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the roll, but... Yep, there we go. And that is a <laughs> failure and failure. Snufflepuff is... I, I, I legit think Snufflepuff is high at the moment. I, like, I actually think there may be some acid involved with this, because this is ridiculous. Yeah, because Snufflepuff had to move to get to the Rad Roach, it just kind of trips up on its own feet. I like to imagine that it has, like, barely any teeth yet left, so it is biting it, it's just, like, kind of gumming on it. Alright, Belly Bob Gertrude, what's, it, what's, what's going on? Gertrude ding this one in next to the boat lady with frying pan. Okay, so Gertrude's just going for a straight up squash. She succeeds with her roll, she gets a 8 and a 9 on the dice. And okay. two physical damage, which is the lowest damage you've done so far, but luckily, enough to kill the Rad Roach. Last one's yours, Billy Bob. Uh, oh, no, we want a successful roll here, or it's going back to the star. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you it... You know what, actually, if he doesn't manage to kill this one, I'm going to spawn 15 more. No. <laughs> um, uh... All right, all right, all right. You know what, just for you guys, I'm going to run right up to this damn thing point blank range i'm talking like a foot barrel a foot away from this rad roach i'm gonna shoot it with the railway rifle you actually get your own foot instead if you fuck up oh yeah i mean i don't expect to get special treatment i'm gonna at least try regardless you see Okay, so the one HP and, uh, rad roach, uh, now, you want to, now, you want to walk up to it with now. your most powerful weapon, and you want to miss completely. Because I... you, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have a target of seven year old and eighteen and a twelve. So go on, tell me how that. Tell me board. how did that go for you, Billy Bob? Um. Hmm. So I sit there, and I point this one foot away from the rad roach, and I go. All right, motherfucker, die! And I take the gun, and I pull the trigger, and it just goes, Nick. Uh, shit, I forgot to reload. Um, Winnie, you, did you help me? Yes. Please? <laughs> of course, Billy. No Can one saw- Can you help? That would have been really cool if I shot, though, right? Everyone thought that that would, that would have been cool had it actually been loaded. That would have been, yeah. Yeah. You suck. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the right, Muppets uh, are here. Damn it! <laughs> the old old guy Muppets are up on a balcony. Yeah, somewhere. I was about to say, you suck! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> All right, um, let's go in for the laser musket, then. Again, point black range with a laser musket this time. And got yeah, success there. When again manages to hit. Oh. And she does absolutely no damage. How did that happen? <laughs> you rolled That is five dice. You, fight, you rolled Good five luck. damage dice and managed to get the zero damage on every one of those dice. That is unbelievable. 
<laughs> that is a low ass chance. No idea how you manage that. This laser bolt just bounces off the back of a rad roach inexplicably. We found, we found the true immortal rad roach. We shall name him Roachy, he shall be our pet. You know what? Nurse Handy's going to have to deal with this, otherwise, the rad roach gets a turn. <laughs> how, how is this happening? <laughs> Everybody's just surrounding this one rad roach that has one HP left. It's like it's it's got no feet and it's missing an antenna and I think one of its wings is ripped off and none of you can hit the bastard or anything. Can we just walk away from it? Can I not move there? <laughs> That's always <almost> cruel. <laughs> so anyway, we get her ass kicked. I do agree with Winnie. <laughs> Mame it. Let's close it back in the room. <laughs> we killed all your friends. Now live with this. <laughs> It'll spawn more. Car we'll, uh... Carmen, please, please, just roll your your bus saw or something. That's the plan. <laughs> then. Do it. Oh my oh, god, they succeeded. Thank, thank, no, thank zero, God. Zero yeah. damage dice again. <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's see if he can get at least one bit of damage on his dice roll. Yes, oh, yes, he does. Fantastic. Yes, the the nurse walks up to the rad roach, well, not walk, but floats up to the rad roach and finishes it off with the buzz, so just cuts it straight in half. Everybody's happy. The place stinks of burnt rad roach. And um, you're, you're all in the lobby of this living quarters, just licking your wounds. Combat successful. End the episode there. Well done. Thank you for listening to this episode of A Pint of Cthulhu. If you want to get in touch, you can find us on X and on Blue Sky at Pint of Cthulhu. Furthermore, if you'd like to help out the podcast, go over to our Ko-Fi page, link in the description. So mote it be.